Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making an almond sponge with a caramel frosting. Now I would normally do this in a 9 inch uh, spring form pan or a 9 inch cake tin um, and then cut the cake into two layers. It could be done in individual cake pans, two 9 inch pans and cut into layers but I'm actually going to do it today in a square tin and that's because I bought a new contraption, which is uh, this cake tin that I can adjust into any size from three inches up to 12 inches. And I've lined an eight inch section with uh, baking parchment. So I'll set that to one side. Now I'll do the cake first and then I'll do uh, the caramel frosting. So the ingredients for the cake are uh, the whites of six medium eggs, that would be large in the USA, and the yolks of the same six eggs separately, uh, 125 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of ground almonds, 200 grams of caster sugar, I'm using golden caster sugar, um, you could actually use granulated, but caster sugar is, is best. Golden caster sugar will give uh, a slightly caramel flavour as well to the sponge. A teaspoon of almond extract and a pinch of salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just drop the salt into the egg whites. And I have my oven preheating at uh, 170 Celsius. That's 150 Celsius with a fan, 325 Fahrenheit. That's ready to take the cake. So the first thing to do is to uh, mix the egg, the, the egg whites into a meringue stage so that until they're stiff peaks. So I'll start off frothing the eggs, then I'll add the sugar a bit at a time until I've got stiff peaks. Okay, so that's nice and stiff now. So, the next thing to do is just to set that aside for a moment and take the egg yolks and the almond extract and I'm just going to whisk those to break, uh, break up the yolks. And then I'm going to pour that into the egg whites and very gently fold it in until it's all combined. Now we don't want to uh, knock the air out of these egg whites, so everything from now on is very gentle. That's good. And then I'm going to pour the almonds into the flour and just give those a little mix around. to get them combined. I'm going to add that 
in two or three stages and gently fold in to the egg mixture. And then mix it, make sure all the almonds and the flour are, com are combined. I'm just going to the bottom of the bowl to make sure there's none sunk to the bottom. And that's all the mixing it needs. So then we need to put that into our cake tin. And as I say, this is an 8 inch square tin, which is the equivalent of a 9 inch round. This is a deeper tin than I actually need, but the cake should rise, but not all the way up to the top in this instance. and then we'll spread that out and level it off. So, with that in the tin, I'm going to put that in the oven and I'm going to bake it for 40 to 45 minutes until a skewer poked into the center comes out clean. So once it's in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes and the skewer comes out clean, uh, I'll take it out and I'll let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes before I take it out of the tin and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay, so I'm back with you now and our cake is out of the oven and I've taken it out of the tin and as you can see uh, it looks quite good. It's gone in a little bit at the sides there, and I think maybe that was the way the paper uh, work, uh, was pushing or something, I don't know. But anyway, it looks fine. Nice and thick, and it rose quite well. I'm going to put that to one side and let it continue to, to cool down, and we'll get on to make uh, the caramel frosting. So for the ingredients, I have... Um, 500 grams of sugar granulated, another 70 grams of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 15 grams of flour, I'll use 226 grams of softened butter and 240 milliliters of double cream. And the first thing I'm going to do is to take the 70 grams of sugar and I'm going to caramelize that on the stove um, and so that's that's uh, going to be the basis of the caramel everything else comes later so let's get on and caramelize this sugar so I'm going to turn the heat on and I'm going to put the sugar in to this thick based pan level it off a little bit and I'm going to heat that until it goes a nice golden brown. So there's our caramel sugar melted and what I've done is I've put the um, the cream and the remaining sugar 
and the flour into a large saucepan and I'm going to pour the caramel in and I'm going to heat that until it's about 114 Celsius, 238 Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's 114. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in half of the batter I'm going to stir that let it melt and I've turned the heat off and I'm going to let this cool down now until it's about 42 degrees Celsius um, that's 110 Fahrenheit okay I'm back with you now and uh, my caramel frosting has cooled down to about uh, 110 Fahrenheit 43 Celsius so now I'm going to add in the rest of the butter, 113 grams, and I'm going to mix that for about 10 minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes. Okay, so I've mixed that for about 12-13 minutes and I'm just going to set it aside and cut our cake into two. Now you could cut this into three it's big enough, but I'm going to do it into two, hopefully. And then I'm going to take one layer and I'm going to spread some of the frosting on the top of that layer
going to have to go all the way up to the edge because I think when the next layer goes on it will squeeze it onto the edge now this should start to firm up but once it's been completely covered I will place it in the fridge to firm up before cutting it So that's that layer, then I will put the other layer on top. And cover that. And then it's a question of layering the sides as well. I'm just going to try to push this over a little bit. So this is our cake and I've um, covered it all in frosting and then I've taken some hot water and I've dipped my spatula in the hot water and I've just used that to smooth it a little bit like that um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that into the fridge for about two hours so that it can firm up quite nicely the frosting that is then I'll come back and we'll cut it and see what it looks like inside Okay, I'm back with you now and the cake has been in the fridge for two hours. I've taken it out and now I'll, I'll just cut it and we'll have a look at it. So there's the cake. It looks quite good. I didn't get my two layers quite the right size but it's fine and I'll have a taste of it mm. you've got the sweetness of the caramel sort of fudgy type frosting and that almond sponge is absolutely delicious. It's so light and you can taste the almonds in it. Really very, very good indeed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner, there will be an eye that you can click on to get to the recipe. And I'll also put a link below, below the video that, that will take you to the recipe. And then I will be back with you in a few days with another recipe. So until then, happy baking. <laughs>